small town syndrome is this idea, this concept that people are eternally woven into the cultural fabric that comes when you grow up in a small town. It's an inescapable cycle that forces you to endure the dreariness, then almost immediately to appreciate the spontaneity of the beauty that comes with a sunny day, or at the very least a day that's just less worse than all the others. I've always been intrigued by the concept of permanency, how fragments of myself will always remain in this town, on the walls of my high school, and in the memories of all the people who knew me, which, granted, was everybody, but that's just how a small town works. But there comes a point when there's nothing left to explore. There comes a point when I have seen it all. Things become repetitive, and life just seems to plateau. I continue moving and living, while the world around me just stops spinning. Years ago, I carved my name into this fallen tree with a pocket knife. It's just another mark, albeit ephemeral, that I will have left on this town. It's painfully metaphorical. I elicit this concept of permanency and then bring up an almost forgotten memory of how I carved my name on a rotting tree in a pond along a desolate trail. But maybe those are the types of remnants I want to leave. Those that will gradually disappear with time. And for the record, I don't hate this place, and I never will. Your upbringing in the surrounding area in which you were brought up in will always have a significant impact on your path in life. And as people say, small towns have a certain charm in the specific je ne sais quoi. This blink and you miss it city, aka exit 1 off 94, is my home, and it always will be. If there's anything this town has taught me, it's to never stop looking for something better, something new, something worthwhile. And that's what I intend to do.